All right, so here's the code. Um, I just created a new f um, program folder, um, and then called the file input, and then main package, main class, and ignore these input statements. You can put them in um, also. Probably familiar with that by now. So now what we're going to do is first we have to create our file. So we're going to create file um, my file equals new file my file dot txt and then we're going to do so now we've created a reference to our file uh, remember we haven't actually created the file we just created a, ref a reference to it so scanner bob equals new scanner and now we're going to pass our reference to the file using this my file so now we've told Bob where to go for input and then we can just do string first line equals so now we're telling Bob to go do something and we're just gonna go tell him to get the next line and then string second line we're just gonna tell Bob to go get the next line again and so now what we need to do is we need to um, close Bob we need to fire him so he's done reading and now we'll just output so we'll do system dot out dot print ln inside of here let's do first line plus comma plus second line all right so now that we've done that um, when we run it there's a there's a problem and the, the reason there's a problem is because this file doesn't exist yet so to make it exist you can just go into your um, your workspace and then go under file input and just create a new text document and you can call it my file and then we just want to put some text in here so I'm just gonna put hello world through the text file and we're just gonna save that close it and when we run it, it works. Hello world, and that's one line, comma, through the text file. So now that that works, I want to show you um, a problem. If we just get rid of this line of code so that we only have um, a single line, and I can't, I can't use my down arrow key, so we only have a single line. If we save that, and then we try and run our program it'll crash because it couldn't find the second line it could only find the first one um, because the second one didn't exist so in a later tutorial we'll talk about how to um, prevent that from happening and it'll be in the exceptions um, chapter which I will write at a later time alright I'll see you guys later bye